All right, guys, today um, I noticed my car when I started up, it was kind of missing, a little slight miss in it, and then the engine light came on, and the code, <coughs> I hooked up the uh, scanner to it, and the code was P0301, and that's a misfire on cylinder one, so today I'm going to be um, checking out cylinder one. That's going to be the first plug in the front right here on the uh, driver side and to the distributor cap. That's the uh, first plug in the front on the driver side it's coming down. So today I'm going to be checking out first. I'm going to check out the plug and then I'm going to check out the wire. First, I'm going to check out the spark plug. Let me go ahead and take that out. We'll pull this uh, wire off right here. Got a... Uh, Five eighths spark plug wrench, short socket. Let me put that on there. It's not too bad. Getting it up. put this down so I can go ahead and take this out okay guys I got the spark plug out don't look all that bad <clears throat> but a lot of times they can be bad and you don't know it so um, let me see if I can check I'm gonna check this with the multimeter and uh, see what it reading supposed to be somewhere I believe between 5,000 and look to 6,000, a little bit over 6,000, but under 7,000, definitely. So let me uh, let me meter this on a multimeter, then I, uh, I'll let you guys know. Well, I can go get the multimeter, then we'll do it together. So, all right, let me go get the multimeter, then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, here's the, um, the spark plug that I just took out. I'm gonna try to get this on a uh, meter for you guys uh, it's gonna be hard to do uh, let me see if I can figure something out how I can uh, do this because I don't have no one to hold the camera all right okay guys I read something up um, put the, uh, the needle nose vice grips uh, on the one end of the uh, spark plug and I put the, um, put the negative lead in there on the back side of it and what you want to do is you want to test that this pointy tip right here not this not this right here but that part right there and then let me see okay, okay you're getting under four thousand Okay, that's lower than what the um, specs is for a new spark plug. So the ohms, I mean the resistance is kind of low on this spark plug. So I'm not sure on that. Don't quote me on that. It might be bad. God, it fell up on the thing. But I have a spark plug that I took out of uh, another vehicle that was running perfect before it got uh, junked. And it was the um, same type of vehicle. This is a spark plug, almost fairly new, not bad. I mean, used, but it's not bad. So we're going to test that and see what we get. Okay, guys, I got the uh, the new used <laughs> spark plug up there to test. Okay, we're going to uh, we're gonna touch it right here, the tip of it again, to test this, see what we get. Oh, I got to make sure it's reading. It's reading right Give me one second, guys. It's hard to do this with one hand. Okay. Hello, one second. It's moving. 
Okay, right around six thousand, under seven thousand postages. What a um, I believe that's what a uh, spark plug should read. Around the six thousand range, I guess that should be good. But you see how that's reading six uh, zero six point two seven. The other one was reading zero three point nine eight. And I'm gonna go with this one being good, and the other one being bad, which is probably why it's uh it's missing on cylinder one. So I'm gonna change that out. But also while I'm right here, I'm gonna check that plug too. We're gonna check that plug with the multimeter and make sure that's good too because I have an extra plug. I'm not gonna change all of these plugs. I'm just gonna change the cylinder uh, that needs it. Like I said, this vehicle going in storage and I'm not gonna be doing all that and it's cold out here. So just try to get that misfire going. So we're gonna test this uh, wire before we put the plug in. So now we know that that plug seems to be bad. So I'm gonna change the plug, but first let me take this uh, wire off to be tested. Okay guys, this is gonna be the first, this is cylinder one plug right here. It's kinda on there. Let me uh, take this, let me put this down so I can take this off. Okay guys, I got the wire off up here. Just enough to test it, then it's off right here. So let's put the multimeter right here. So let me put this, get this up here. Let me get this all fixed up, guys, and I'll turn it back on. All right, guys, so you can see I got uh, one lead up there and one lead right here, and according to um, to uh, GM, I guess it should be like 1,000 per um, per foot. So it's a little over two foot. So it should be like 2,600, 2,800, somewhere up in there for the, um, cause it's wired over a little bit over two foot. So it'd be like, should be like 2,000 or something. But uh, let's see, let's get this in here. Okay, guys, as you can see, that's uh, reading pretty low. So let me test one a wire that I, uh, a spare wire that I got here and see what we get, because that's testing pretty low for that. So we're gonna take this off. And this is the new wire right here. So we're gonna, um, Put one in, test lead up here. And then I'm hand, other hand free to do the other uh, one down here. Okay, so prop that up in there so I can test the new wire. I see that guys. That's reading better than specs. So it looked like the um, plug and the wire is probably shot. So I'm gonna change that out and then see what we get, guys. All right, let me screw this uh, part, spark plug in and change this wire out. You already see how to take it out. It's pretty simple, just unplug it, plug it in. Let me take that out, then we'll see what we get. All right. Okay, guys, put that plug and wire in. I know it's different colors, it's Mitch Mac and I need to get it off here, but hey, when I get around to change now, I'm gonna do it then, but everything plugged back in, clamped, put the wire back in the uh, plastic spacer, plug that in, plug that in, change the spark plug. Now let's see if it start right up. Cause I know before, I mean, as soon as you start the thing up, you can feel the chug and it missing right away. It wasn't like no, wait till it warm up or 30 seconds later, it was like instantly missing. And you, you know when you're here for missing, so. Let's pop it in and see what we get. Well, I know the check engine light is still gonna be on, but I wanna see if it's still missing.
okay, yeah, guys. I think that was definitely a fix. So change that uh, plug and wire. Because right now it's running, it's running smooth. I mean, at first you could feel the uh, missing instantly. So, yeah. I would definitely say that's a fix. And I'm going to uh, reset the uh, engine light or just let it go out on its own after a few cycles of uh, running the car. But for right now, that P0, that was that P0301 code, that's fixed. Uh, misfire on cylinder one, that's fixed. Turned out to be a spark plug and wire. So, yeah. Fix that. Now I don't have to worry about that. So, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future videos. And I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm out.